You can also look at chain stitches in the needle module of your training. The 401 chain stitch is sort of elastic or stretchy. So it's ideal for sewing fabrics that need a strong and elastic seam. To form a chain stitch, the sewing machine uses a needle and a looper. The needle thread loop forms as the needle rises. A fraction of a second later, the looper passes its thread through the needle thread loop. The needle thread controls immediately begin setting the previously formed stitch on the underside of the fabric. That's the way it always goes with the chain stitch formation. The previously formed stitch is being set while the new stitch is being formed. This is why a double groove needle is recommended. It provides a path for the needle thread on both sides of the needle. Down for one stitch, up for the next. As the needle rises above the fabric, the looper moves to the left and the fabric is fed. The looper moves toward the operator as the needle reaches its highest position. This movement towards the operator, along with the feeding of the fabric away from the operator, helps form what we call the triangle. Wait a minute, slow down for the triangle. The triangle is formed by the needle thread loop around the blade of the looper. The looper blade and the looper thread from the eye of the looper to the previously formed stitch. The needle penetrates the fabric and enters the triangle, carrying the needle thread through it. As the looper moves to the right, it casts off the needle thread loop. This is when the needle and looper thread become interlooped on the bottom of the fabric. As the needle approaches its lowest point, the looper returns to its extreme right position and begins to move away from the operator to position itself on the other side of the needle. The needle begins to rise and the next stitch starts to form. 